You're fine. You'll see. Trust me. Come on. Uh, Ward, this is Senor Diego de Varga of the Latin American Department of Antiquities. Dr. Ward Fraser. Hi. It's a pleasure, Doctor. I've heard of your work in various scientific fields. Senor de Varga is our official watchdog. Our National Museum has always encouraged joint archaeological endeavors. We simply want to preserve our natural environment and protect our interests. Well, let's see what you found. time and money. Come on, watch your step. It's a long drop. It's a burial chamber. Intact. Looks Aztec. No, it's Mayan. But with strange differences. years of bearing its own ashes. Have you been able to figure out what the inscription's all about? It says, I am the Benio of the golden light who brings incense to Osiris. But Osiris was an Egyptian god. Somebody's got their wires crossed. It looks hermetically sealed. We'll need more sophisticated equipment to open this. Oh, we have an institute in our capital. I doubt if it's equipped like ours. I don't think my government would allow you to see it, Barbara. We're not going to steal it. 
This is still a collaborative effort. There's only one place in the world with equipment special enough to handle this. Incredible. The liquid was chemically related to amniotic fluid, like in a mother's womb, but it's synthetic and has unknown elements. You no, know, he certainly isn't your average American boy. Even an ancient Maya wouldn't have cellular structure like this, glands, pigmentation. Different. Better. It all fits, Ward. Don't you see? Ancient astronauts existed. We're looking at one. Now, wait a minute. I'll grant you've made a remarkable discovery, but don't go jumping to a lot of wild conclusions. It may not be such a wild conclusion, Dr. Fisher. Our history and our traditions are filled with stories of gods who came down from the sky in fiery chariots. But you're mixing apples and oranges, Egyptian symbols and Incan gods. There's no connection. Why? Many people believe that the Egyptian genius Imhotep was the same god of the Incans. Look, there's all kinds of evidence that some superior beings were here. Electric batteries, thousands of years old. Numbers with 15 digits, something not registered on any computer. Maps found in the 16th century that could only have been charted from the air. That's all been explained scientifically. Can you explain this amulet? What about it? We can't get it off. Go on, touch it. Cut. No sign of radiation on a Geiger counter. It's some unknown energy. <laughs> unknown.
You know I won't hurt you. What did you mean, you'll die? So few plants here, it's hard for me to breathe. This air, it smells so foul. No kidding. You must be new in town. Just like his father. Lynn. I'm his father now. I'm sorry, honey. Hmm? He just worries me sometimes. I thought this vacation was going to help, but he just seems more wrapped up inside himself. <laughs>
found some more clothes. A naked body seems to shock everybody, except you. Well, I've seen a few in my time, professionally speaking. Hey, how did you... Oh, I'm a very good swimmer. I remembered about your house in the canyon and all the plants. They really do help me breathe. I never told you about all my plants or my house in the canyon. Uh, it's not nice to read people's minds. I'm sorry. But this is also so new to me. Strange. I like this picture of the beach whale. Magnificent and very sensitive animal. Well, sometimes it's not anybody's fault. They just die at sea and drift in with the tides and the wind. Yes, but sometimes these creatures lose their will to live. They understand the threat to their existence. So they choose their own moment of death as opposed to having their oppressors choose it for them. Are you all right? Air conditioning. Positive ions. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know about that. Look, uh, I don't understand. You come out of nowhere without your shoes and you glow and read minds and the plants make you feel good, but then the air conditioning makes you feel sick. One of us isn't playing with a full deck, and I seem to be at a real disadvantage here. There is a man. I've got to talk to him. He can help me. What man? His name is on a tag you took from the green clothes. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I was going to check him out tomorrow and see if I could find out a little bit more about you. I can tell you where to find him. Go to him. Tell him to come here now, alone. You got it. Hey! Are you Dr. Ward Frazier? Yeah. Uh, slow down, will you? I can't sprint in four inch heels. Oh, what's your problem? Did you happen to lose a six-foot-four blonde stud who can read minds and is allergic to air conditioning? I read your books. All of them? Well, they weren't too demanding. You think you were a Russian spy or something, the way they're running around looking for you? This young lady thinks you're quite a bundle. Practically a superman. I don't do parlor tricks, Dr. Fraser, if that's what you mean. Well, I have a scientist's basic curiosity, but I tend to temper it with some hard gut skepticism. Can you leap tall buildings in a single bound? Not without a little help. Which leads us to why you asked her to bring me here. I want to tell you something. I'm human, just like you. Just like everybody else on this planet. But there are pollutants in your air. Lead and chemicals? You're not the only one complaining about that. Well, maybe not, but for me, it's causing a, a highly negative electrostatic field. It's hurting my body. It's destroying me. I've been able to counteract the damage with some natural elements, but I have to have a more permanent unit if I'm going to survive. What do you mean, a more permanent unit? Close your eyes. Concentrate. I can tell you faster in images than in words. You'll be all right. 
You have a good, strong mind. I feel as though I was... I feel as though I've been run over by a truck. You'll remember in a minute. Chemicals, minerals, radioactive elements. Things I'll need. You recognize them? Yeah, I think so. What is this? Physics and alchemy? Sounds like you're trying to change lead into gold. The making of gold from base metals is merely a discipline. It leads to enlightenment. It's a spiritual transformation. My people like your ancient Egyptian alchemists had the knowledge they knew how to change basic elements into pure energy. And I must have that energy to live. Can you get these things for me? Get them? I just can't walk into any... If you can't get these things, I'll die. But why don't you just come back? Let the government get you what you need. I am not a thing to be used and examined. I did not ask to be awakened. I didn't ask to be stranded in a hostile place. You woke me. You disturbed my rest. Now accept some responsibility for my life. But these things you want, they could be highly combustible, dangerous. I'll need to get clearances. It'll take time and a great deal of money. Can you get them if I provide the money? How do I know this isn't uh, some trick, some kind of secret weapon? How can I trust you? We'll need to trust each other, won't we? Now, how much money do you need? Half a million. You'll have it within three days. You know, this is crazy. Intuition. Where are you going to get a half a million dollars in three days? How much money do you have? Me? Cold cash? Let's see. I... Twelve hundred bucks. Will you let me have it for three days? What are you going to do with it? There was something in here. Oh, yeah, that's a series of shots I took of a resort in the Mojave Desert. Uh, Coral Springs. Money? Yeah, it's a pretty classy place. Very affluent clientele. There's gambling. Well, it's illegal in the state, but there is a going casino in the basement of the main hotel there. But how did you know? Never mind. Forget I asked. Will you take me there? Are you kidding? This I gotta see. Hey, uh, what do I call you? Do you have a name? It's Benu. Benu. That's interesting. I guess I don't have to tell you mine. No, well. I'll get the car. to go to Coral Springs. I heard about it. It's a resort. Pretty nice. Oh, honey, I'm so tired. We're practically out of money. Oh, come on, Lynn. Give him a break. This is the first time I've seen him smile in over a week and a half. This was for him. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
steal bets? Shooter coming out again. I needed. What's your secret? A little blue box like they used to cheat the phone company? It wasn't difficult to override your computers. <laughs> what computers? You know, the ones you keep in the hidden room that control the dice. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? I thought I spoke English pretty well. <laughs> How could you know? How could he do what he did? Find out now. Something I learned from an eel. An eel? All the 
think things have natural defenses. I learned a few when I was growing up. Can you teach me some? I'd be surprised when I could teach you. <laughs> yeah, I'll just bet. Right now, you better teach me to drive faster because they're really game houses. Money is hard work. Why well, never matter, right? It's men. They cheat, deceive, harm people without a shred of conscience. Come on, we're not all bad. Turn off there. High roller to worry about. It's too bad about the money. Yeah, we'll just write it off to expenses. My cameras. My whole life. Everything up in smoke. And for what? You inconsiderate turkey. You're impossible. You don't give a rat's wear about what you've done. Talk about conscience. Quiet. I can't believe this. Oh, this is the pits. This is the absolute pits. Quiet. to do that to my car. I said you didn't have to do that to my car. You could have zapped them, kicked them like a mule or something. Mules don't like giving up their secrets, so I never learned to kick too well. Superman. But you're right, I didn't destroy your car just to get rid of them. I... I destroyed it for the same reason that I burned all the other photos you took of me. You what? You burned them? And the negatives. I suppose you burned my house down, too. Yep. No, your house is fine. Oh, well, we have enough money now to buy you a new car and replace all your camera equipment, so... It's not the car or the equipment that matters. It's the photos of you. I know. The big event magazine cover. I worked at this for 10 years. This is something that I've dreamed about. I can't be the thing to make your dream happen. Not yet. It's too soon. Okay. Now that we've got the half a million, how are we going to get it to Fraser? It's up to you. Me? 
I can't risk being found, and I don't think I have enough strength left to get to Fraser. But how do I get it to him? I'll help you find your way out of the desert. Uh, great. <laughs> what are you going to do, put little bat noises in my head? No, well, I don't have time to argue. You must try and understand that time is closing in on me. I've got to find out why I've been awakened in your world. In a world earlier than planned. I've got to understand what it is I'm supposed to do, and you've got to help me. If you're so superior, what are you going to do about my feet? and the truck ready. Don't worry about that. And don't tell that Peruvian guy if I find out you blabbed about this. You don't have to worry about a thing. You'll be on your own. I feel rotten. Really rotten. So I see. We have everything you asked for. And something I didn't want. What's that? The people who followed you. That man had something to do with you winning that money. I don't know how. He's very strange and Timmy likes him. I'm a... What's the problem? The problem is what I've been trying to tell you. He wants to see that man again. Uh-huh. Did he say why? Oh, he thinks he's some kind of magician or something. I told him that we're leaving now, and we are. Howard, please pack the car. Now, Ward, there was no other way. You lied to me, Cliff. I swore you wouldn't tell me. It's my decision to make, not yours. This is the closest thing man has found to a god since creation. He was found in the soil of my country. He belongs to us. Hey, 
die out there. He's only 11 years old. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll find him. That man. That man. What man? He's got some kind of a hold on Timmy. It's sick, perverse. Here, honey. Like he came this way. Almost a straight line. Looks like he knows where he's going. years from now, I would have known what I was doing here. It would have been simple. I would have fed in that key in a door. Being here now, it only seems like I have something to do with the balance of nature or the love that my people felt for others of their own kind. That's pretty hard for me to understand. Only because you're afraid of being touched. You got the wrong girl here. I've been touched a lot. Did you say the things with your mouth that I see in your heart? It's too risky in this world to do that. Maybe I've played the game too long, but it's just too painful. What's he doing here? I've been helping him get here. Great. He's chosen to believe his father's only missing in Vietnam. I, I don't understand. What does that have to do with you? He knows I have the answer. But it's not the one he wants. Tim withdrew into himself when his father was killed. And he's refused to use his mouth or ears ever since. He's not missing, Tim. Your father died fighting in that war. The fire in your mind is real. He died with courage, Tim. A very noble heart was purified in flame. You can hear me now if you want. The pain won't get any worse. Tim, listen to me. I'll tell you a secret. There's a center deep inside of you that's made of pure energy. You know what that is? That same beautiful sun is right there, Tim. Just like the sun inside of me and every other living creature. It connects us all with each other. It makes us all part of the same world. It's a pure gold light, a warm center that pumps strength and energy. And it's waiting for you to call it into action. Well, look for me to do it. Search for it. Believe it's there. Reach deep, deep inside with your mind. Call on it now, Tim. Believe in the golden light and call on it to help you. It'll come. Believe in the golden light. 
Removed 30 seconds ago, and new tissue is already formed. It's incredible. The vein cut downs are healing. Tissue welding, healthy layers reproducing themselves. I can't believe what I've just seen. Noel! Noel! He's okay. In fact, he's perfect. The doctors are stumped. They've never seen anything like it. I don't understand. He healed himself. Don't ask me how. He just did. Oh! Benham. Believe me. I understand your depression and disappointment in all of these people. But you have to understand. Their treatment of you comes from ignorance. They don't know what they're dealing with. What they're dealing with? What is that? The good deity, Benno. You belong to my country. You're part of its traditions. Its rich history. Like too, too young to really comprehend your significance. These traditions you speak so fondly of, I no doubt that they do exist, but they've got very little to do with me. Can't be your god or his brother. My nature is simple and human. No. Not human. You only have a human form. You were delivered to us. You have rested in our earth. And you appeared, as promised. My discovery was chance, and my location was chance. I don't belong to anybody. I would give my life to really convince you of my government intentions. I don't want to hear any more about governments. A handful of soil from an Iowa cornfield is the same as the dirt found in a South American plain. It's all sacred and belongs to itself, not to men. I'm sorry, but I can't give you that which I don't have. The fulfillment of your ancient prophecies. I did not come here to give up. You will be loved and cherished and cared for. But in my country, 
you actually believe you're offering more than just another glass bubble. <laughs> you deceive yourself and me. How is he? We may lose him. Lose him? Why? You, you said he pulled through fine, that he practically healed himself. He doesn't seem to like our world too much. Can't say as I blame him. Tim came with me, but they're only going to let us see you one at a time. I know. Banu, you said I was afraid to be touched, but I'm not afraid anymore. I'm glad. I can say what's in my heart and mind. I can hear it. But I'm like that whale, Noel, the one you took the photo of. Lying on the beach waiting to die. I prefer to choose my own time. But you told me you were reborn because of love. Love is something I don't know too much about. I've, I've always avoided it. I. I avoided committing myself to anybody or anything. But I think I love you. I know I'm not in your league. Even with guys who aren't supermen, I... I'm not much good. But I want you to stick around long enough to see that there are some things in this world that that are really worthwhile. People. All the things they've done and they're trying to do. Please. You're one of a kind and we, we, we've lost so many. We don't need any more disillusioned quitters. We need a chance to, to change things for the better. Sure, we have failures, but we care on this planet. We really care. Oh, Banu, you can make the difference between the way things are and the way things could be. Give us some hope. Tim, we don't have to talk in pictures anymore. I don't want you to die. Maybe, just maybe I've chosen the wrong time. I gave you the amulet, Tim, because I thought I was dying and I'd lost faith. Will you give it back to me now?
stop the car. I think I can lose him just past this bridge. No! Listen to me, Noel. You are so worth the simple rebirth I give you. I hope I can carry the weight of your heart. Such a perfect heart. There's no death. You'll rise in flame and exist in me forever. Not too wet to burn? No. Not too wet. said some Superman. But you've made such a difference in everyone you've touched. Noel, Tim, even an old acid warrior like me. That's the lock between our worlds, Benno. Help us not to seal off our maybe last chance. The Parker will make it very hard for me. I'll help you avoid him all the traps. You can use me. I'll do anything. Your needs are special. Your powers are special. Special to what end? Will there be another Noel in your world? There is little I want or even ask for. But I do want to know you before I die to call you a friend. I don't know why, but somehow I feel you're a wellspring of hope for humanity. Perhaps. I'm still not sure. But it's out there somewhere. The reason, the purpose, something defined, waiting for me. My destiny. And I've got to find it. <laughs> 